Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to add mod packs to your Minecraft server on Eternos while using T Launcher. This video is actually requested by one of you in the comments who wants to see how to set up mod pack better MC. So let's jump right in. And in advance, sorry for the ones wearing headphones. First, you're going to need to log into Eternos, of course, or create an account. Once you're on the home page, you're going to go to server settings. So I'm just going to press play. And here are your servers. I have two, you'll have none most likely. So just press create. And here you can change the name to whatever you want. And here at the bottom, you can actually change the color of it. And then you can also add little symbols. Want to add one to the end. Whatever you want to do, you can do here. You can also change the picture, which I'm not. And make sure it's Java since I'm not doing bedrock, but you can as well. And I actually hate these ads. Why did it do that? Okay, let's just press create. And here we are. It's basically created. So here in software or here, you just press change. And then go to mod packs. And then you choose your version. But I mean, look at the difference. Technic has basically nothing. While Cusforge is a massive page. And they still don't have the mod packs that I want. Anyways. And then here we'll look for better MC since the one I'm downloading. Uh, I've tried the latest version, it didn't work. And I've tried this one, it also didn't work. Both forges. So this one actually works, I've tried it. So if you're going to do better MC, pick this one. And I don't guarantee all these mods are going to work, by the way. So you're going to have to try a few times. Okay, now it's downloaded. You want to go to options. Here in options, you can change the settings to your preference and make sure this one's on because if cracked ain't on how the fuck do you think you're gonna play you got sea launcher you, you're playing cracked and yeah if you want to figure these out and you just press on server oh by the way you can also give access to your friends so you just type the username add and they can come into Eternos create an account and they will be able to access it in their servers and then um what else backups you can connect your account here and they'll make sure it'll be saved. Here you can whitelist players, ban players, you can add OPs. Like I said before, you can just add the username and press add and it'll do it for you. I'm getting frustrated with these ads. Like one, two, three, four, five, five ads in just this page. Crazy. Now just press start. And great, another ad. Just what I want to see. Two ads in fact. Anyways, while that loads, we're gonna press T launcher. Okay and you want to press start and then just copy this and if that doesn't work you can also put the port and IP okay now open your T launcher TL mods and here it might appear here in the front but I'm gonna search for mine better MC uh, which one was it Yes, this one. See, I already downloaded it, but make sure you download the exact right version. So it's V20, and this one's also V20. And then just press enter the game. Also, make sure you have an account here, otherwise, you can't really log in. So, also, if you're using T Launcher, I also recommend you allocate some memory because, like, mod packs, they take up a lot. For example, this one, they also told me before when I was making a video. Uh, that I had 3,000 MB, which is 3 gigabytes allocated to T-Launcher, and I should have 6. So if you want to do that, you open your T-Launcher. Actually, it takes forever. What the hell? Uh, once it loads, okay, here, you press here, and settings. Mine was here, but I want it at 6,000. You can go a little over. If you have more RAM, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, so this is fine for me. And you just press save, and then you should go to your... And you can load your game. Now you go to multiplayer, proceed, add server, make sure it's correct. And you can put a name if you want. So just tutorial for now. And I wrote it wrong. Great. And done. And this might actually take forever depending on the mod pack you added. For example, I did this a few days ago. I tried to play with my friends, uh, Dawncraft. And it actually took ages, like I think more than 10 minutes. I was just waiting for this thing to load. And great, it's loaded. So refresh and then press on it. Oh, 
Oh, this is awesome. Great, it loaded. And this, this is happening. My PC is not even ass. It, it's actually good, like. So if you have a crappy ass PC, I recommend you get like a really small mod pack. Otherwise, it's just not gonna load. So here we have. This is better MC. Uh, I have no clue how to play this. I've never played this. But uh, yeah. And then your friends can also join. Of course, that's the point of a server. And look at this. I actually have 3,100 RAM on this server. It's using 83% when, with zero players. When I was in, it was more. When I put Dawncraft here and my friend joined, it was one. One friend. Because I don't have 20. No, I don't have 20. One of my friends joined. This thing maxed out at 100 and we all started glitching. So, yeah. Don't do Dawncraft unless you want to play alone. So, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Hopefully this helped. And if you have any other um, questions, like any other video ideas, just comment down below and I'll make it for you. If it's not too difficult.